Hey guys, Martin here from Mattress Clarity. If you're a larger person like me, you definitely want to find a mattress that can support your weight while still being comfortable. If you're a larger person, you definitely want to take a look at the Helix Plus mattress. I'm talking about that mattress today. I'm going to go through its construction, run it through a number of tests, talk about who it's a good fit for and who it's not a good fit for. Let's get started. First off, if you want to take a look at our top picks for mattresses, just head over to mattressclarity.com. They're going to find some great reviews on mattresses, pillows, and bedding. Also, stick around at the end of the video, I'll be answering some frequently asked questions about the Helix Plus mattress. But the Helix company is really great because they're all about customization and flexibility. Basically, you can go on their website and take a sleep quiz. And based on those answers, they'll recommend the perfect mattress for you. Now, you can also select from one of their mattresses, and the Helix Plus is actually made specifically for larger people. It's much more supportive, much more durable as well. Now, I actually reviewed this mattress before. It was called the Helix Nightfall. But since then, they've made a few slight changes, so I was excited to hop in and give my updated review. So let's take a look at the construction of the Helix Plus mattress. First off, it's 13 inches in height. It's a pretty substantial mattress. Starting off on top and then working our way down. We have a tensile cover, very, very breathable, nice and plush as well. Now beneath that, the first layer is going to be a layer of high density memory foam, very slow moving. You can see kind of has that classic memory foam feel right on top, but it's also not too thick. Beneath that, you have a layer of Helix dynamic foam it's kind of a latex phone hybrid. It's much more responsive as well. Adds some bounce to the top of the mattress. And beneath that, an even firmer layer of memory foam. So all together, you can see the top layers here. A little bit of that memory foam feel on top, but with some response from these top, bottom two layers here, definitely kind of a bouncier top to the mattress. Now the support layers will be very, very tall layers of individually wrapped coils, very supportive as well. And beneath that, a layer of Dura-Dense foam. That's gonna be your base layer. So what does all this mean? Well, first off, it should be a quite cool sleeping mattress with these coils, a lot of room for airflow. Even though you have foam layers on top, there's some gel infusion, a very breathable cover as well. Should be a cool sleeping mattress. It also should be a very supportive mattress, a good match for heavy people. Again, it's made just with them in mind. So very supportive coils, high density foams, able to handle that heavier weight. And then last but not least, it should be a very durable mattress, some very you know high density foams here on top. You're also gonna have some very supportive coils. Gonna hold up to many years of use and it shouldn't sag too quickly, even under a heavier weight. And now let's talk about firmness and feel. In terms of firmness, I put the Helix Plus at around a seven and a half out of 10, firmer than average. That's because we do have some kind of softer layers on top, so you can easily kind of press into that. There's still high density though, so you definitely reach some firmer layers pretty quickly. Then also beneath that, you have some supportive coils. So all together around a seven and a half out of 10. Now in terms of feel, it kind of has this balanced hybrid feel. You have some coils beneath adding some bounce. On top, just a little bit of that slow moving memory foam feel. So again, pressing my hand in, it pops back into place pretty quickly. And also there is a good amount of bounce. You can see here at the ball, it doesn't die completely on top of the mattress, even though it contains memory foam. So a more bouncy, responsive mattress, easy to move around on the Helix Plus. So now I wanna talk through how I feel in different sleeping positions on the Helix Plus. Starting on my back, it is a great match for me as a heavier back sleeper. My hips sink in just the perfect amount in those top foam layers, great support from the coils beneath. Even if you're much larger than me, I'm 250 pounds, you're definitely gonna get enough support back sleeping on the Helix Plus. However, moving to my side, I'm definitely feeling some pressure on my shoulders and my hips. Again, it is a firmer than average mattress, but again, I'm 250 pounds. I'm on the lighter end of heavy, so if you're much heavier between like 300 and 500 pounds, you could compress these top foam layers more, feel better pressure relief on your shoulders and your hips. Moving to my stomach though, a fantastic match for stomach sleeping. Again, firmer than average, definitely supportive enough for someone of my weight. I think even if you're heavier, you should find enough support stomach sleeping on the Helix Plus. Here at Mattress Clarity, we like to mix subjective opinion with objective tests. And one of those tests is the pressure map. So basically I lie down on my backside and stomach. You sit anywhere from blue for no pressure, all the way up to red for high pressure. Now pay specific attention to my side saving results on my shoulders and my hips. Let's get started.
If you sleep with a partner, you definitely want to think about motion transfer. Basically, if you're lying down on one side of the mattress and your partner moves around on the other side, are you going to feel that motion or not? Now, to test out the motion transfer on the Helix Plus, I place a glass of water in the center here, and I push into the other areas here, kind of creating a disturbance. And you can see there is some disturbance in the water there, but not too much. There are coils in the mattress which aren't the best of motion transfer, but there's also memory foam in the top layers, which is very good at handling motion transfer. So doing a decent job with the motion transfer here. Now to further test this out, I lay down on one side of the mattress and ask Danny to get in and out of the other side of the mattress, move around as well, also trying to create a disturbance. And I can say I felt a little bit of his movements on my side of the mattress. So all that being said, it's probably just an okay option for couples. If you sleep with a partner and you like sleeping towards the edge of the bed, you also want to think about edge support. Basically, if you're sitting down near the edge of the mattress or lying down at the edge of the mattress, do you feel secure or more like you're going to roll off and onto the ground? So here I am sitting down near the edge of the Helix Plus. You can see the mattress does collapse just a little bit with the coils here and also the foams here on top. But that being said, I do feel secure enough to lean over and tie my shoes. Now lying down on the mattress. Here I am rolling around near the edge. I definitely feel secure enough to sleep all the way towards the edge without falling off. So let's talk about the pros of who I think the Helix Plus might be a good fit for. First off, I think it's a very, very good choice for heavier back sleepers and heavier stomach sleepers. It's a very supportive mattress made specifically for larger people. It's also firmer than average, so you should definitely find enough support back sleeping and stomach sleeping if you're a larger person. It's also a good choice for hot sleepers. A very breathable cover, it's going to have open cell foams on top, some gel infusion in there as well, a lot of room for airflow with the coils, a very good option for hot sleepers. And then last but not least, if you're a larger person, you like sleeping more on top of your mattress, I would take a look at the Helix Plus. While it does have foam in the top layers, you don't sink in too far, definitely feels more like you're sleeping on top of the Helix Plus. And then let's talk about the cons of who I think the Helix Plus might not be the best fit for. First off, I think if you're a heavier side sleeper, it's probably not the best option for you. Unless you're much, much heavier, like between 300 and 500 pounds, you're not going to compress these top layers too much when you're on your side. You could feel serious pressure on your shoulders and your hips. Also, if you're looking for something that has more of that slow moving memory foam feel, I would probably look elsewhere. While this does have memory foam in the construction, it is more of a bouncy responsive mattress overall. So again, if you want that kind of slow moving memory foam feel, I would look elsewhere. And then last but not least, talking about price, this is not the most affordable mattress on the market. It's around $1,600 for a queen size. A very good deal when you consider what you're getting, but there are more affordable options out there for heavy people. So if you get the Helix Plus mattress at your doorstep, you might want to know how to unbox it. So it's very, very easy if you follow these steps. First off, ask a friend for help. Get that box inside the house and then up to your bedroom. Once you're inside the bedroom, open the top of the box and take out the rolled up mattress. Place this rolled up mattress on your frame or foundation and you're ready to start cutting through the layers of plastic. Now, do this carefully and don't cut too deep. You don't want to damage that mattress. Now, once you've gotten through a lot of layers of plastic, it's going to pop open pretty quickly. It is a hybrid mattress. And once you've done that, take away all the plastic and packing materials and give it about 24 to 48 hours to completely expand and to off gas. So now I want to give you some additional information about the Helix Plus mattress. First off, it comes with free shipping and returns, comes with a 100 night sleep trial, a 15 year warranty. They also offer many other mattress models. You can even take a sleep quiz on their website to help find the perfect mattress for you. They offer accessories and financing is available as well. So now I want to answer some frequently asked questions about the Helix Plus mattress. The first question is, is the Helix Plus mattress any good? And in my opinion, it is a very good mattress, a very substantial mattress, very supportive mattress, even made to handle much heavier weight. So larger people should definitely check it out. The second question is, is the Helix Plus mattress good for heavy people? It is definitely a good match for heavy people. In fact, it is made just with them in mind. Very supportive mattress, very durable materials that should last for a number of years, shouldn't sag or break down too quickly. The third question is, how firm is the Helix Plus mattress? Now, in our experience, it was close to seven and a half out of 10, definitely firmer than average. I will note though that I'm 250 pounds. If you're much larger, like 300 pounds to 500 pounds, you might compress this mattress more than I did and actually feel that it's softer than I did. And the last question is, does the Helix Plus sleep hot? Now, in our experience, it did not sleep hot whatsoever. It has this very breathable cover on top, some breathable foams as well, and a lot of room for airflow with the coils there. In the end, I think the Helix Plus is a great option for heavier people, specifically if they sleep on their back and their stomach. 
They sleep on their side, they might want to look for something softer, or if they prefer something with more of a slow moving memory foam feel, I would probably look elsewhere. But that's about it. If you're just getting started looking for a mattress or bedding products, definitely head over to mattressclarity.com. We also do a lot of videos just like this. So hit the like button and subscribe.